This is Sarah Threads to NurseRN.com and in this video I want to talk about hair. So on my channel I get a lot of questions about my hair. I have people who ask me, you know, they're like, Sarah, how do you care for your hair as a nurse? What are some hairstyles you can recommend because I have long hair? Or what products do you use? And also, why do you have your hair so long? So in this video I want to answer those questions. So let me start with the easy question first. Why is my hair so long? Well, the answer to that is very simple. It's because I I like it. Um, throughout my life I've had various lengths of hair and I just found that this length works for me. I can throw it up and I'm ready to go. And plus my husband, this is his actual favorite length of my hair, so it all wins. It wins for him, wins for me, and we're all good. Next, how do I care for my hair as a nurse? Well, as a nurse, during your shifts, you're gonna come into contact with some nasty stuff. Even if your hair isn't sweeping into stuff, just patients coughing and sneezing, all those little droplets floating around and landing on your hair. You wanna get home and you want to get that out of your hair. Because if you go straight and lay on your pillow or something like that, you're gonna get germs everywhere. So what I like to do is I like to come home Home and I take my shoes off, put them in their own little bag because shoes are nasty. And then I take my scrubs, put them in their own pile away from my regular clothes and everyone else's laundry. And then I hop into the shower, take a hot shower, and wash my hair. And I use lots of shampoo whenever I wash my hair. My husband's like, man, we just bought shampoo. You buy more? I'm like, yes, because I use a lot of it because I have a lot of hair to wash. So I do that and I like to always take a shower before, like that night before my shift so I can sleep. And it just makes things easier on me because I like my sleep because if I don't get my sleep, I get a little bit grouchy. So I get to sleep longer and it just works out good. So now let's talk about the products I use in my hair. Really, it's quite simple. I use a shampoo and conditioner and randomly I may use some like hairspray or like glossing spray for my hair if I have like little stray hairs flying in the wind. So what I like to do is I like to change what brands I use up over time, like for six months I might use this type of shampoo and then I wanna switch it up and try something else. Now currently what I'm using is the Pantene Pro-V line. And if you, all these products I'm going over, if you want to know about them, there's a link in the YouTube description and it'll take you to my website and you can see about these products. But I like Pantene Pro-V, it's great stuff. I'm currently using Smooth and Sleek Shampoo and Conditioner. And depending on if it, what season it is, like right now we're in winter, my hair tends to be a little bit more frizzy. So I got the kind that fights frizz for 48 hours, works pretty good. Now sometimes, during the summer especially, I like to use Aussie. And this is great for, sometimes I get the volume kind to give my hair more volume if it's really just struggling and being flat, so that helps volumize it. And this is the Awesomely Clean Shampoo, and I also use the conditioner, I don't have the conditioner with me. And it's great stuff. Then, sometimes is to help those pieces of hair that are flying around, especially whenever I'm styling my hair, putting it up. I use Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine Brilliant Shine Glossing Spray. This is good stuff, but you need to use it sparingly because if you spray too much, it make your hair look really oily and look like you haven't really washed it in a while. So those are the products that I use. So now let's talk about choosing a nursing hairstyle. Okay, nurses work in a variety of settings, and depending on what setting you work, you'll probably have to be a little bit more strict with your hair compared to if you're working in a little bit more of a non-direct patient care setting like a nurse researcher or educator or something like that compared to a nurse who's on the floor 12 hours working side by side with that patient because if you have shoulder length hair or long hair like mine or hair that gets into your face it can be a hazard to you or your patient so here are some things that you want to keep in mind so first say that you have really long bangs or your hair tends to get over into your face or you're constantly having to put it behind your ears because it's coming over into your face you want to make sure that you secure it so you can have your vision because you know if you're doing like a fully catheter insertion on a female or you're trying to do something you don't want your hair to sweep over your face and you can't see what's going on you stick something else when you're supposed to stick this so you always want to keep it nice and secure to your head. Next, if your hair is really long like mine, this is a hazard to you because what can happen is that your hair, right whenever you pull that bedpan out from that patient who just had a bowel movement, your hair will sweep over your shoulder probably dangle down into the bedpan. 
or whenever you're doing a sterile dressing change or something like that, you don't want it just sweeping over your shoulder, contaminating the field, and then you have to set up all, all over again. So you wanna be sure that you secure your hair, that it's off your shoulders, and that it's up. And another thing you wanna consider is that your long hair can become pulled. If you have a patient who is confused, they can grab a hold of your hair and pull you down in their bed, or a combative patient, it can injure you or hurt you. Also, your hair, it can get caught on equipment, and there's nothing like being in a code situation, you're trying to get the patient in position, putting the head of the bed down, and your hair gets caught on an IV pole or something like that. So you wanna really take care to keep that hair pulled back. So due to all those reasons I just listed, I like to wear my hair depending on what type of mood I'm in and what I'm doing, either in like a high bun, a low bun, or braided. And let me show you what those styles look like. Okay, so these hairstyles I wanna show are very simple and very practical because I like to do the easiest thing I can to get out the door. Okay, so what supplies I use, of course, is a hairbrush. And I like to use bobby pins just to collect those stray hairs and some hair ties and a clip for reinforcement. So first what I do is obviously brush my hair. I get all the tangles out of it and brush it up really good. And first thing I like to do is because I like to do a poof in the front. So I'm just gonna sort of comb it out like this and just take a little bit of it like that. And then I twist it and then I sort of push it to the front just to give it a little bit of a poof, a little extraness here and then I take a bobby pin and pin it. Okay, so I have that. Now I just take it and pull it up as high as I can go. Now some things I've learned don't go too high because if you go too high and it sets on top of your head all day after 12 hour shift, you're a real bad headache. So I take it and then I twist it around, do a pretty good twist because I don't want this to fall, and then I push it down with my hand and I take a hair tie, and I already have the hair tie on my wrist so it's easy to grab, and just take it and put it around. And then I'll take this extra hair tie with me to work because you never know when these things just pop open. Just be walking down the hall and they just explode off your head. I've had that happen before. And then I like to take a clip and just put it right here just to give it a little extra security. And then that's the high bun and it literally took me, what, a minute? And then sometimes I get these little sprigs of hair and I like to take a bobby pin and just put it right there and then do the other side. And then we're ready to go. Now quickly let me show you the low bun and I like to wear that if my head's been hurting and I don't want it up high. So what you do with that, super easy. Just take your hair back like that, take it and just twist it like so. And then just sort of wrapping it around and then take your hair tie, put it like that. And then I take that clip and put it. So it's good to go. And then of course, with the bobby pins, just do the same thing if you have your hair that likes to stick out. And I like to take that glossing spray that I showed you, or hairspray, and if your hair's sticking up really bad, you can just take it and just smooth it out so you don't have stray hairs everywhere. And lastly, I wanna show you how to do the braid. And I like to do this if I'm not working in like those direct patient care settings where I wanna be in contact precautions and messing with lots of body fluids, suctioning and things like that. So how I like to do this is of course, I like to do the little poof thing in the middle. And so do that again. That's one of my favorite things right now. So get your bobby pin. Then what I like to do is to take it up like in a ponytail at first. So pretty much as high as you can get it where you feel comfortable and get your hair tie. And then what I wanna do is I take the hair over and I just braid it. Super easy.
And it takes me a second to braid my hair because it's a little bit long. And as I braid it, I really pull on it so I can make a tight braid. Now one thing is, after a long shift, your hair gets a little tethered from where the braid starts coming apart a little bit. So you might may have to rebraid it sometime. And I like to leave just a little bit of hair at the end. And then I'm ready to go. Okay, so those are some nursing hair care tips. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos.